Hello, my name is Second, and we are playing MC Eternal, and uh, did a little mining. And you may not be surprised to know that the, the caves are uh, are extremely difficult and full of unpleasant things, jerks, you might say. Uh, but uh, I want to want to build a little fortified house to get ourselves kind of organized. Um, I'll build it. Nothing horrible out here. I'll build it like right up here. I don't want like little indoor spots for cows and things because like there's stuff out here that'll. I don't know what it does to the cows, but it certainly makes the cows not a thing anymore. And a similar one for chickens. But it's hard to mine down there. It's hard to get a bunch of stone. There's like caves and lava pools like all over the place. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna make ourselves a block from thermal and see if it'll help us out. Now sometimes, I feel like sometimes these need power and sometimes they don't. Um, we do need Invar, and we made that last time, if you remember. Um, we mixed the, uh, what do you call it, the, uh, the iron dust with uh, with some nickel dust, neither of which are these, but you get the idea. And we got the, uh, the Invar ingots. Speaking of which, is that done? There we go. Yeah, we definitely need some, some... Why is there an apple in there? <laughs> we gotta get organized, folks. So the first thing we're gonna need um, is a machine frame. And uh, what do we, got? we got a tin gear. Okay, that's easy enough. It's just four tin in this. And we got the glass, and I think we're gonna need four iron. Let's see how this goes. We'll just make ourselves a tin ingot. Very nice. And we'll make ourselves a machine frame. And it looks like we'll need two copper. Oh, we don't have enough copper. All right, I'm going to have to go get some copper. Now, if memory serves, copper spawns pretty high up. There's some right there. Oh, this isn't going to be bad. Um, let's go ahead and try to light this. What's that? I'm scared enough in this pack that I have a shield. What is it? It's like right there. Are you friendly? Oh, that's a crow! It's just a crow. Sounds like it's sick, doesn't it? <laughs> Alright, here we go. And kind of hear the achievement music there. I found a scarab gem. A time machine? Swords? Oh. I don't know, those were on the menu. Of course, I'm very interested in a time machine. I mean, I'm sure the past is as full of jerks as the present. But, uh, you know, they'd be different jerks. Okay, we got some copper cooking up. We probably have enough. I think that's enough. Okay. Let's see if the gear recipe is just as simple. Okay. We need a redstone reception coil, which is just gold and redstone. It's not that bad. This stuff. Interesting. They look different. I wonder why. Oh, we'll figure it out. Aqueous accumulators. It's certainly not new to thermal. Um, so let's put this right here. It might need power, um, but we don't want basalt. We want cobble. We're going to need some water, and we're going to need some lava. I'm going to gather all that up. I need a couple of buckets. I think we can just right-click in here. Okay, it looks like we're going to need power. Unfortunately, that won't be very hard to do. The basic energy cells are not too hard to make. We're just going to need some more glass. Let's get some lead, some 
iron, some redstone, and let's see what we need here. Okay, one lead gear. Not too bad. There is our energy cell frame, and this will hold power for us in case that uh, wasn't obvious from what I was saying. Um, what are you doing over here? Okay. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and make... Oh, we already did that. Um, Let's go. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Okay. We're doing good here, folks. Um, this is what. I, oh, we need Electrum. Do I have any pulverized silver left? I do not. That's okay. We have a solution. I already have a gold, don't I? Um, what we're going to do is toss these ingots that we've already smelted right here in our grindstone and grind them back into the dust. There we go. Now we got a gold and a silver. We can craft those together and we should get two electrum blend. It's going to say electrum dust. I guess there's really a meaningful difference. Smelt this up. I keep forgetting new thermal is just uh, just has the one coil. This is this is old thermal. It's old. It's dark. Definitely want to be sleeping through the night this early until I get those cows and some chickens safe anyway. Um, so let's go ahead and make the coil. And we'll make energy cell. Nice. Now this will hold a little bit of, uh, of energy, RF in this case, redstone flux. We're still going to need to produce some. And we're going to do that with one of these dynamos. We've got steam. Well, I guess steam is what it's going to be. I was hoping we'd have like a sterling or something, but we really don't. Um, so we're going to need a little more room over here. Now we're going to need a couple more machines. Now we're going to need some water in here too. Now to make steam, we need water and we need heat. And it's this thing that's going to give us our water. It's, an, it's, it's a device frame. Okay, it's a copper gear and tin and glass. So that's a little different. So we got a little bit of tin, not too terribly much. Um, but let's see how we can do here. We're going to use this to... Uh, to pump water out of that infinite water source we just made. And we're going to put it into that steam dynamo. Uh, oh, that's nice. It's a little bit like the, the polymorph mod. It just cycles through everything. OK. Also, a redstone servo, that's not that bad. All right, now this thing doesn't need to be powered. Um, that much I know. So we're going to put it right here. And it's already filling up with water. Now, we are going to need something to move the water. So we're going to use one of these fluiducts. It's not, it's not at all hard. Um, and since I think we won't have any problem just filling it up without uh, any fancy servos or anything, I think that's how it works with this machine. Now, finally, we're going to need this steam dynamo. It's not that bad. Let's, uh, let's get it together here. We're going to need a copper gear. We're going to need a transmission coil, which in this case is silver and redstone. There's some silver. Very nice. And that's everything. That's everything. Now, we're going to want... Hey, get out of the way. 
we're gonna want a thing called a crescent hammer. I'm gonna see if I can, there it is. Okay, so it's just iron and tin. That's not bad. This is the, the wrench of thermal. You can also use it to rotate other blocks, which is cool. Rotating is what we're going to use it for, because we want this thing pointed at this thing, this red part here. There it is. Now, we're going to go into the configuration here. Um, blue means it'll accept power. Orange means it'll send power. And I don't know... Oh, that's the bottom. Okay, this is the... That's the top. Last thing we're going to need is some fuel. I got a little bit of coal here. We're going to throw it in. And it's going to start sending power here, which is going to send power right here, because it's right next to it. And since we're just making cobble... It's not going to use up any of the water or the lava. But we want, you know, that's only going to hold a stack. We're going to need more than a stack of cobblestone. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a basic storage drawer. What these are, they hold a lot of one thing. Uh, there's a lot of different types. You can see them all in JI. We're just going to make a... Uh, just a basic drawer. And the cobble will start going from the igneous extruder right into here. We already got 30... Yeah, that's that's trucking right along. That's fantastic. Now, you may ask yourself, I said I just have a little bit of coal, but I have 20 blocks in my inventory. What am I doing with 20 blocks of coal? Well, we're going to make ourselves a tank. They're different than the uh, the 1.15, 1.16, and so on versions. Um, you can craft the fancy ones uh, rather quickly. We're going to go with iron because we have this much iron to spare. Uh, what we do, white stained glass, right? White stained glass. Oh, we're going to need a bunch of iron. Uh, enough. What you do is you make these uh, these sections. We want five of them. Now, if we have the previous tier, you can use the previous tier in the in the central spot, but we don't, so it's just another pane. And this is going to do uh, quite a bit for our uh, our inventory space. It'll suck up blocks automatically, and it'll, it holds an awful lot per slot. It's not, you know, bound to the normal the normal stack limits. That's what makes it really cool for mining. Okay, I'm getting the hang of the dank here. What you do, you, you put something in it, uh, shift right click, like say dirt, and all the dirt that you pick up will go into it. Yeah, Shift. See? And then you can use it, whatever block you have selected in here. To uh to place. So that's very nice. That's gonna help us with this pond in a hill. Uh, once we're finally in shape to go mining and caving, it's going to help us gather, uh, you know, those resources that you get a lot of, like coal and all kinds of good stuff. Uh, this pack does have chisel, so you just make it stick in some iron. And then, uh, let's say we had some cobblestone, right? Shift right click with your chisel. Get some blocks up there. And let's see, this all looks very familiar, but we're gonna go with just regular old bricks for a lot of this. Um, this is certainly not gonna be our, our final base. We're gonna try to steal one. But at least the bottom layer of this whole thing is gonna be bricks. Amount. Oh, there 
was a chisel. That's okay. There's some ore we can't mine. <laughs> what we're gonna want for this, we're gonna want a couple of animal fish. Should I go down one more? I feel like I should go down one more, but it, it'll be fine. Um, we're gonna want a couple of animal pens. Um, we're gonna give them five by seven. Okay. Entrance is actually gonna be here. The house will be back there. We'll have some pens, a little courtyard, a little tower. Let's uh, go ahead and put it together. We're gonna want to chisel a lot of box, so we're gonna make the, the high tier chisel. Not a diamond here. It works exactly the same way. It just has a whole lot more durability. Yeah, small bricks. Uh oh. Eclipses in this pack are no joke. It's about to get very dark and very dangerous. There's all kinds of blocks we can make with chisel that are really going to help make this place look nice. Let's see, is there uh, something uneven? I think the uneven... yeah. Let's get these down here for a floor. Those aren't the uneven planks. Oh, they're fine. Alright, it's definitely not my fanciest starter house, but it'll give us some room to do some stuff for some storage and to keep the jerks at bay. I want to start thinking about a roof. I'm just going to tear down this thing. In the time being, we're going to use this as a storage room for uh, some bulk storage. We're going to use these barrels from Yaba. Yet another better barrel attempt, I guess. Uh, these will hold quite a bit of one item. I don't have to make a bunch of them here. There we go. Isn't that nice? Also gonna want some fancy chests. So we're gonna use uh, these iron chests, which hold twice as much as a regular chest. And you can upgrade them to gold and diamond and they'll hold even more. Now, I'm gonna start moving everything. So we got a, another whole bunch of quest rewards here. Let's see, uh, oh we got some, some things we have to choose too, I guess. Now, I don't know what's going on with the lag all of a sudden, like I'm getting all these little lag spikes just just all of the sudden, we definitely want the world's smallest violin. Gotta have it. Okay, so over here... Come on. Oh, they're like restart or something. Okay, look at purple slime. And... More lava waders. What else do we have here? Oh, we got doggy talents, huh? Okay, and what's this? <laughs> Come on. Oh, there's that's the violin. This is from Rat. No, that's a doggy charm. This thing is great. <laughs> Seems, uh, seems that cleared it up. Uh, one thing we're definitely going to want is a trash can from Extra Utilities 2. Um, there's like a fluid version, there's an energy version, uh, a couple from a couple different mods, uh, but we're just going to use this one. And this will allow us to shift click stuff in there to destroy it. Like all that oak apple gall, we get all the silkworms. Hundreds and hundreds of those silkworms. Since we're finally safe here, I thought, whoa, ho, 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 ho. Hey. 
<laughs> I couldn't have planned that. Oh. That spoon is on me. <laughs> I was gonna take a look at the dark <laughs> and see what was out there. But are those things... Okay, so there's this... Whew, that scared the craps out of me. Um... So there was a portal out there, some kind of a rift-looking thing, and that's where that dude came Oh, there's another one over there. That's where that guy came from. And there's also all kinds of other horrible things, horrible, horrible things out here. And I'm hoping some of them might spawn and kill some of the, the tent jerks and the castle jerks to the north. I don't know. I hope they don't take my chicken. That guy just grabbed me. Just grabbed me. Unbelievable. Yeah, unfortunately, with a hardcore darkness mod, can't really see anything. Uh, <laughs> see that castle all lit up, though. It's pretty cool. Sleep through the night real quick and see, uh... See what's left out here. Oh, that guy gave me a scare. There's some spiders, some zombies. But, whew. Oh, good. These guys. Oh, for crying out loud, really? This is why I sleep through the night, generally. Oh, they're hurting me. They're hurting me bad. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. They nearly killed me. Another one in here? Got him with my cows. Crying out loud. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, so that's that's a little taste of the nighttime. It's awful. Full of jerks. I was working on making a farm out here, just breaking grass. We came up with an ender lily seed. That will slowly grow as ender pearls. Once we get some end stone to put on it, it'll grow them more quickly. So uh, that's a, a pretty cool thing to find. Now we're gonna want to get more into farming, but first I want to whatever these that we that we did. Okay, so that killing that guy was worth quite a bit. We got a diamond, some kind of weird food, some kind of strange stuff, and then over in magic over here. Okay. Oh, that's a flower we picked up. And some kind of spell book. Okay, very good. Charge and launch dark fireballs? I'm sure it has a durability, but that could that could come in very handy. This is food, I guess. Hopefully it won't do anything terrible to us. It's probably gonna do something terrible to us. Uh, there we go. And a diamond. How nice. Well, what I want to do, though, is get into Agricraft, because we're going to have to get into it eventually. Um, as it stands, the, the crops we're harvesting, we're not doing uh, too, too good. How many ladders? 16 ladders and then a campfire? Okay. Maybe it's in the farming spot? Okay, yeah, so crop sticks, um, seed analyzer, something we definitely need. I think these are all unlocked. Um, let's just make some crop sticks. 
So let's see how. Uh... Oh, okay. So we've got all these watered water tanks for every possible kind of wood. Sprinkler systems for each kind of every possible wood. There's the crop sticks. Okay. That'll get us that quest. And some dollars. Sweet, sweet loot. Uh, what we want to do with these things, let's, uh, oh, we're going to want a seed analyzer too. I thought I saw it. I'll never be able to spot it. Um, seed. There it is. One seed analyzer. Okay, so we'll need a smooth stone slab, a glass pane. Alright, let's see if we can make this thing. Very nice. Now, is there stuff like, uh, I'm sure it'll actually be in the quest line. Um, like a compost bin that we could use. Let's see. Agricraft, let's see. There's a computer controlled seed analyzer. That's not what we're looking for. There's all our. There we go, that's a little better. Now let's see, we got, uh, we got clippings. That's something we may end up We're okay. So I don't think we have to worry about any kind of composter, but let's grab. A bunch of seeds. Oh, there's a quest, okay. And let's go ahead and make ourselves an iron hoe. We're gonna need it. While you're hoeing dirt, you'll find these little worms. Uh, they're fantastic. They're from Actual Editions. And they do a little, you put them down. And they do, once you put them down, you can't move them, they, they'll, they'll just die. So put them down where you want them. They will increase growth ticks in a 3x3 three three area. So, you know, you can use uh, nine of them, put one down on a lily pad or something. And they'll increase the growth of the crops. So we're going to want those guys. And let's go ahead and put our analyzer down over here. We're definitely going to want a garbage can out here. Um, all these seeds will analyze the same. They're, there's vanilla seeds. So I just put this in here. And oh, we want the book. That's right. But now we know that these seeds have one out of a possible ten of three traits each. We can do better than that. And the way we do it is with the crop sticks. Now, some packs make this finicky, some packs don't. We're going to see if this is a less finicky pack. If you, you can put these crop sticks down. If you, if you right click again, you'll get this set up. And this seed will eventually spread to here. And I hope be higher in tier. You can also just like shift click like this. It's fine. And we're going to let it go all the way around here. And see, uh, oh, we're, we're out of crop sticks. We're going to see what we get. Now, if we wanted to do the same thing with potatoes, I think we... Yeah, okay. Very good. And we'll be able to get potato seeds that way. <laughs> Those little guys go. Cool. Now, another thing I want is a backpack. And I guess what we do is we take leather and string, make it into bound leather, and then we cook it into tanned leather, right? And then we'll need a chest and I hope just regular string. Yeah. Got a chest. And we're getting a good amount of string from, uh, from that flax. I'll go find some more of those. 
there we have it. And there's all kinds of uh, dying. I don't. I hope you can upgrade them. We're about to find out. Oh, that was a quest. Okay. Or, oh, here it is. Very good. And an apple sapling. That's right. We got pans in here, and therefore all the pans trees. I'm going to hang on to that for the time being. Now, let's see. Oh, is there something else? Oh, something in the far... Oh, that's right. The seeds. A rusty farmer's mattock. Lovely. So, this has got a little bit of space. Not that much. Um, we can dye it. So we can radiation it. Radiation proof it. Well, 18 slots is 18 slots. And we can put it a half-hearted backpack. <laughs> Capacitor backpack. Yeah, it's fine. Not the greatest. Now, I assume it's... Oh, nope. Oh, what's this? I pressed B for backpack and got this. <laughs> um, that's, uh... Boy. Let's be a hermit. I don't know what it means. Um, we're going to go ahead and turn the GUI scale down a little bit um, so that we can see the controls. Now, what's the name of that mod? Uh, improved Backpacks. So let's see. I'm sure there's a key for it, right? Options, controls. Improved backpacks. Uh, journey map. Improved backpacks. B's already set to something else, but uh, eight on the number pad. Looks pretty good. Now that we got a little portable storage, but we come back to this village, steal everything that isn't nailed down. This is some stuff from that archaeology craft. Ooh. Failure Saurus flesh. Sounds lovely. A little bit of chicken essence for reasons, I guess. Let's see what else is around here. What's this? from vampirism. Altar of inspiration. All kinds of... What's this, a sword? It can only be used by vampires players. Curious. Our grindstone here has been doing a great job, but I'm getting pretty tired of it. So I want to make some more things from thermal. Uh, we will need something to transfer power, so these flux ducts are, are like cables, basically. We're going to need uh, one more lead, I guess. And there's different tiers of them, but we've got, uh, we can make leadstone, so that's what we're going to make. We also want a redstone furnace. Um, we're going to need... Actually, gonna need a whole bunch of copper gears. Four, that's what we got. Um, we're gonna need some machine frames. Some iron for that. There we go. Uh, what I what, what I wanted what I want to have is ore doubling, basically. Um, there we go. There's two of them. So we're going to make this uh, this redstone furnace so we can use RF to smelt. And we're going to make this pulverizer so we can grind ore into dust. And uh, get some things out of it. Now we'll want to... Uh, <laughs> 
we're not going to want this to export off to this side. Uh, we're going to want to export off to this side. So the last thing we need to do is to fill the pulverizer. Let's turn that off. Make this an input for energy. We'll turn this one off. And this will be output for both sides. Take our redstone furnace. Want an input here. Another input here and an output there. Okay. And we're gonna turn on the auto input and the auto output. And we're gonna put a chest right here. I don't know if this is late enough in Minecraft life. No, it's it's too early. Okay, we'll put some other kind of inventory on top of the redstone furnace. But what this should do is it should uh, take ores that we can grind, like say copper, iron, tin, bauxite. I hope suck it right in there, yeah. And we'll get uh, two dust for copper, just like with the grindstone. And then this will smelt it up. And finally deposit it into the chest here. Right? Oh, we didn't turn... Uh... Okay. There we go. There we go. So now we can put stuff that we don't want to grind up, like the cinnabar, right in here. And we can also take blocks of wood and smell them up into charcoal to power our steam dynamo. Now, the steam dynamo doesn't have any kind of really auto import. So what we're going to want to make is like the, the fluid duct before it. <laughs> we're going to make an item duct. And I want to say it's uh, two copper and a tin. No. Let's see. Looks like that's the fluid duct. Fluid ducts, fluid ducts. Item duct. Oh, so it's going to want hardened glass. Is there an opaque item duct? It's vacuum. Okay, so two tin and a lead. I see. Let's go ahead and craft some of these up. And we are also gonna need a servo. It's a basic one here. Okay, it's just glass, redstone, a little bit of iron. We're gonna need some nuggets. There we go. Now these will allow us, and there's different tiers of them, will allow us to take items out of an inventory. And we're going to make another barrel, courtesy of the Future NC mod. I really love not having to do without things like the, like the barrels and the stone cutter. In, uh, in an earlier version of the game like this. So we'll put this down right there. We'll put the barrel on top of it. The servo right there. And I think we right click with an empty hand. We're going to turn redstone off. So it will just always take from the barrel and put into the dynamo. And we got a little bit of charcoal. Put it in there. And we should see, yep, that's lighting up. It's getting the charcoal. Putting uh, power into the energy cell and powering all of this stuff. And I think that's going to about do it. We've actually gotten a lot done today. We got this whole starter house. We got some, uh, some basic machines. And uh, next time we'll be back, we'll get deeper into the pack. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.